Hello friends this is fourth part of Code Igniter login register system, in previous part we have seen to send email verification link to register user, and check how a register form has working or not. Now in this part we have start discussing how to verify register email address. So, here we can see an email verification link, page has been redirect to verify email method of register controller, so we have go to register controller. Now in register controller we have make verify email method, this method will receive the email verification request, this method will verify email based on verification key. Under this method we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar this with URI object with segment 3, if in URL there is third segment is present, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar verification key variable is equal to dollar this with URI object with segment method with 3, here we have store URL third segment under this dollar verification key variable. Now we have go to register model, and here we have make verify email method with dollar key object. This method will first verify key, and then after it will verify email address. Under this method we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two object like verification key table column and dollar key variable this method will add where clause under select query Below this we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two object like is email verified table column and no After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to dollar this with database object with get method, and under this we have write code igniter register table name, this method will make select query, and run that query. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have writer dollar query variable with number rows method greater than zero, if this condition true, that means verification key found under database, and this email is not verified yet. But suppose above condition false, that means verification email not found in database or, this email already verified, and this block will return false statement. Suppose above true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key is email verified with value yes. Now we want to change his status of his email verified column from no to yes, so we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two object like, verification key and dollar key variable after this we have write dollar this with database object with update method with argument like code igniter register table name and dollar data variable this method will make update query with where clause and run that query now we have go to register controller and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar this with register model with verify email method with dollar verification key. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar data variable with message index, 
and under this we have store success message with login link. But suppose above condition false, that means verification key not found or already email verified, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block we have write dollar data message variable with invalid link message. Now we want to load this data under view file, so here we have write dollar this with load object with view method, under this we have write email verification view file, and dollar data argument. Now we have open email verification view file from view folder, and here we have write echo statement with dollar message variable, it will display success or invalid link message on web page. Friends we have again go to email address inbox, here we can see email verification mail, which we have received after register, in this we can see verification key for verify email. Now we have click on verification link, after click on verification link, on web page we can see message like your email has been successfully verified with login link. So we have click on login link, but here we have received page not out error on web page, because still we have not make login controller. Now we have again click on verification link, after click on verification link, we have received invalid link error on web page, so this way email verification link will work for only one time for email verification, now we have proceed for login. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.